Hi guys, my name is Nehal Rizvi. I hope you are all doing well and safe. Today's video topic is about introduction to cyber security. I made this video for the people they are just a basic computer internet user or casual computer user or they are just beginners. My aim is to raise awareness about the value of hacked email account, importance of your data, credentials and identity theft. What are the risks involved when your email hacked? What are the weaknesses and vulnerabilities in your program, websites and operating system that can be exploited? Cybersecurity is a vast subject and today's video is just a tip of the iceberg. Let's jump into it. Cybersecurity can be described as the practice, processes, technologies, of protecting computer systems, network, and program from cyber attacks. These cyber attacks are usually aimed at accessing, changing, or destroying sensitive information, extorting money from users. A cyber attack is any attempt to gain unauthorized access to a computer, computing system, or computer network. I made this animation to explain cybercrime and hacking in nutshell. At one side is your computer located and the other side hacker is getting all of your confidential information. A cyber attack is any attempt to gain unauthorized access to a computer, computing system or computer network with the intent to cause damage. Cyber attack aim to disable, block, delete, change or steal the data or control computer systems. People who carry out cyber attack are generally regarded as cyber criminals, often referred to as bad actor, threat actor and hackers. They include individuals who act alone or they can be a organized team. Why does it matter to me? I am just a basic computer user. Please allow me to ask you a few questions. Are you safe online? your file, account, website, email, your personal identification, your web search history. Are you using credit card information to make a purchase online? Did you send an email that had sensitive information like your home address or phone number? Did you ever send an email that had your healthcare or financial information? If your answer is yes, then you should know about cybersecurity. Why would someone want to hack my computer? What do hackers want with my email? Your email account may be worth far more than you imagine. Do you keep your password secret or write them down and store them on your computer? Do you have a habit of keeping browser windows open on websites? These Website windows can easily reveal your bank account or credit card number and all the information. Do you make digital images of bank or credit card statement and store them in folder on your computer? Your credit card number, your bank account, your social security number, national insurance number, social insurance number, your date of birth with that information in hand? hacker well on their way to stealing your identity. They can use your identity for online fraud and many other online crimes. When hackers steal your identity, this is called identity theft. Identity theft is a serious crime where your personal information, anything from your name, your driving license, or social insurance number has been compromised by an imposter who intend to commit fraud in your name. With your social insurance number, with your social security number or any national ID, someone can easily obtain false line of credit and crack up significant debt in your name. With a stolen identity, someone might hide behind your name in legal matters leaving you with a false criminal record, identity, fraud is a major problem and it happened more than you might think. 
stealing password. If you purchase software, it is likely that the license key to that software title is stored somewhere in your email messages or any folder in your computer. Do you use online cloud file storage services like Dropbox, Google Drive or Microsoft SkyDrive to backup or store your pictures, files and music? The key to unlocking access to those files also lies in your email inbox. How was my email hacked? This process called phishing email. Phishing is a type of online scam where criminal impersonate legitimate organization via email. You will get an email from pretending to be a legitimate company. It is usually performed through email. They offer you something like free product or free software to download. The goal is to steal login information or to install malware on the victim's machine. Malware is any software intentionally designed to cause damage to a computer, server, client or computer network. Your computer was most likely compromised in one of four ways. Number one, you do not have up-to-date security software installed. Number two, your passwords are weak and easily hacked. Number three, you clicked on a malicious link in an email or instant messaging or on a social networking site or any web page. Number four, you have downloaded a game, video, song or attachment with malicious script or files attached. What do I do when my email has been hacked? What do you do after email was hacked? When your email account is hacked, here are several steps you need to take to fix the problem and prevent it from happening again. Check and update your computer security or mobile phone if you have a smartphone. Be sure your antivirus and anti-malware program are up to date. Choose the setting that will automatically update your computer when new security fixes are available. If you are already using an antivirus program, run end-to-end -end scan of your computer. Change your password and make it stronger. Do this after your antivirus and anti-malware program are updated or the hacker may collect your new password as well. A strong password do not have to be hard to remember, they just have to be hard to guess. Make your password at least 10 character long and use capital letter, lower cases letter, number and symbols. Do not use information about yourself or someone close to you, including your dog, your cat, your pet, like name, age or city. Do not use words that can be found in dictionary. These are easy to hack for hackers to break even if you spell them backward. Smarten up and understand about spam, phishing and scam. Spams come at us from junk mail in your email inbox. These type of email are spam, fake, you have to be careful. For example, you do not have a rich uncle, you never heard of him in foreign country trying to send you money and you have not won the lottery, no stranger is going to give you money for any reason. If there really was a medical weight loss cure, it would be front page news and on every TV station. No reputable bank or company is ever going to ask you to authenticate information online. Validate the legitimacy of any program, game, app or video before downloading it. Only download content that you have read good reviews about from site you can trust. Change your security questions, they should not be easy to guess. Consider adopting two-factor authentication. Many email offer two-factor authentication as an additional security measure. This method requires both a password and some other form of identification such as biometric or mobile phone number to access an account. These are the example of spam messages. 
these messages are looking for your attention because they try to scare you by lying about what they know about you. They did not hack your email. They did not send the message using your account. They did not plant a virus on your machine to monitor password changes. They did not record video of you watching online video. They do not actually have the password to your email account. If you take away all these lies, there are nothing left except spam. What is two-factor or multi-factor authentication? Two-factor authentication, 2FA, or multi-factor authentication, MFA, is a security system that requires two separate distinct identification in order to access or log in something. As you can see in this image, the first factor is a password. This is something you know. And the second factor is commonly include a text with a code sent to your smartphone or your smartwatch or biometrics using your fingerprint, face or retina. For example, Amazon have two step verification. Apple have two factor authentication. What is biometric authentication? Biometric authentication involves using some part of your physical body to authenticate you. This could be a fingerprint, facial recognition, or iris scan, or voice recognition, or some other physical characteristics. Biometric is the measurement and statistical analysis of people's unique physical and behavior characteristics. The technology is mainly used for identification. How can I protect myself on the internet online? Here is a brief list of things you can do to protect yourself online. Number one, do your update often and regularly. I mean operating system updates. Number two, don't download something you did not go looking for to begin with. Number three, don't believe pop-up warning that tell you what's wrong with your PC. Don't let anyone remote into your computer if you did not go looking for them. Don't ever call a phone number you are instructed to call 100% scam. Don't open attachment in email unless you expected it. Don't click links in email unless you are 1000% sure it's okay. Make it habit to read every dialog box that pop up. Don't just click through them. Learn how to secure your network or consult a professional. Use open DNS again call a professional. Use a commercial antivirus program not free antivirus program. This is always a good idea to clear out your cache or browser history and clear cookies on a regular basis. What is browser history? What is cache memory? Web browsing history refers to the list of web pages you have been visited. Cache memory, also called cache, is a fast a small memory that is stored on computer hardware. Cache memory is used to reduce the average time to access data from the main memory. What is computer virus? What are the signs of a computer virus? What is computer virus? A computer virus, much like a flu virus, is designed to spread from host to host and has the ability to replicate itself. What are the signs of computer virus? A computer virus attack can produce a variety of symptoms. Here are some of them. Frequent pop-up windows. Pop-up might force you to visit unusual site. Want you to download antivirus or other software program for free. Changes to your homepage. Your usual homepage may change, it, change to another website. You may be unable to reset your website. Bulk emails being sent from your email account 
a criminal may take control of your account. Frequent crashes a virus can inflict major damage on your hard drive. This may cause your system to freeze or crash. It may also prevent your device from turning on. Slow computer performance, a sudden change of processing speed could sign that your computer has a virus. Unknown program that is start up when you turn on computer, unfamiliar program. Cyber attacks come in wide variety. Most common cyber attacks that criminals and attackers use to exploit software are as follows. Spam email. Spam consists of email message you did not ask for from sender. You don't know. Unsolicited commercial email messages sent in bulk. Number two, ransomware. Ransomware is a form of malware that encrypt victim file. It means make it unreadable. The attacker then demand a ransom from a victim to restore access to the data upon payment. Number three, injection attacks. For example, cross-site scripting, SQL injection, command injection. This type of attack allow an attacker to inject code into a program or inject malware onto a computer. This code read or modify a database or change data on a website. Number four, man in the middle attack. A man in the middle attack is type of attack where attackers interrupt an existing conversation or data transfer after inserting himself in the middle of the transfer. The attacker pretend to be both legitimate participant. DOS denial of service attack. A denial of service attack is an attack mean to shut down a machine or network making it inaccessible to its intended user. Number six, brute force. A brute force attack involves guessing username and password to gain unauthorized access to a system. Malware attack. Malware is activated when user click on a malicious link or attachment, which lead to installing a dangerous software.